Hello everyone. I can count on the fingers of my two hands how many times I drank alcohol in my life. I've tried weed maybe like three or four times and I live in California and I've never smoked. All of this to say that I never really had an interest in any type of substance that those type of experience was not really have not been really my thing. So how did I end up um, trying ketamine? How did I end up in psychedelic assisted therapy for depression? Let's get to it without further ado. Without further ado, let's get to it. Got it. Just let's talk about it. Three years ago, my now husband got into a very severe motorcycle accident and it actually caused a post-traumatic stress disorder in me and for the last three years I've been actively treating it, I've been in therapy, tried different modalities starting from cognitive behavioral therapy to exposure, prolonged exposure therapy, trying to kind of um, get rid of the symptoms and the anxiety that was crippling into beyond just the <sighs> situations that were in any way connected to the accident. It kind of started penetrating my whole life. And then last November, I got COVID. It was unpleasant, but I didn't have very a serious situation it was again unpleasant temperature cough but nothing life-threatening happened thank god but then sometime after i recovered from covid i started to feel rapid decrease in energy ability to do stuff daily simple things it was just very exhausting to do anything and then it was just like this overwhelming feeling of sadness that was not connected to anything specific and it just started to become um, like normal part of life which is not who I am. I'm not really a sad person so feeling sad on a daily basis is not how I operate so it was really uncomfortable and it was it, it was to the point where it felt like um, it's just not me anymore. And then on February 24th, a war has started in Ukraine, my home country. And I think it was just like the last drop to see all of this devastating news, being super afraid for my family. And they were like at the center of all of this absolute madness that was happening but luckily they were able to escape uh, at a certain point and now they're all safe but it was a horrible horrible time so it felt like um end of the world to me and at that point i realized that i can no longer have a talk in therapy like i was just drained I cannot talk to a therapist anymore. I cannot revisit trauma anymore. I was just like, I'm done. I'm done with, with everything. It felt like it's over. I knew that I don't have a right to give up and I wanted to find a way out. I happened to have a friend and she's a psychiatrist and I shared the situation with her and I was like I feel like I need some type of substance that can actually change something but not just normal antidepressants something that is like way more potent way more powerful and um, I was like something like ayahuasca something like um, psychedelics unfortunately they are not allowed in United States everything is banned and I'm like should I go to like Brazil or somewhere where um, it is um, legal and she said actually there is ketamine assisted therapy and it is not a traditional psychedelics but it creates a psychedelic like experience and it has been used 
for many years and as, as an anesthetic so it's a very safe drug and it was recently approved for psychological purposes for depression so i was like all right ketamine it, it felt kind of like okay it sounds like a real psychedelics maybe i shouldn't really like maybe i should search first for some like real psychedelics but then i'm like whatever this is what's um available at the point here i don't need to go anywhere i can just find a clinic get um, screened by a medical professionals to get prescribed ketamine and just start journey there it wasn't like super easy but finally i found a clinic that had basically the set and the setting that was appropriate for the ketamine experience. So basically what they provided was estimation by a medical professional of my condition to make sure that I will benefit from the experience. And then I was uh, paired with a therapist who would be my guides through the journeys, through the sessions. And we talked about what's happening with me, what I want to receive from the therapy, and what I hope to explore on my ketamine journeys. And then there was um, the first day of the ketamine exploration when you basically come, nurse in their clinic takes all of the measurement, like my blood pressure, my blood oxygen level. They check the temperature, they make sure that uh, they have your medical history and make sure that you don't have any contraindication for um, administering ketamine. So yeah, basically I was cleared by a medical professional at the clinic and my therapist came and we meditated. She talked to me about the intentions. She talked to me about the level of involvement of her during the, um, during my journey. They can just stay with you in a room or they can hold your hand and they can calm you down if you feel unsafe being out there because you never know what you will encounter on the journey. I said that I am petrified and I was petrified. I was like, I was so afraid of dying. I, would, I was like, that would be the most stupid death possible. Like, I've been so careful in my life. I've never been like partying, doing crazy stuff, adrenaline junkie, drinking, anything like that. And then I'm like, they're gonna inject and I'm gonna die. <laughs> it was my biggest fear. So I'm like, please hold my hand. I will just like, please look at me if I breathe. Make sure that like, I'm not just quietly dying. They have a kit to, for emergencies. And um, they told me that they never had to use it throughout the history of their existence. So it was kind of calming. So the first thing that definitely comes to mind when I think about experience of ketamine is you forget who you are. So I do not float. Uh, I do not see myself from like the above from the ceiling, but I can definitely say that like, it's an experience of a soul. Like it's a pure separation from material world and kinda your mind is being directly connected to your soul and the soul is basically the lens that you're looking at the world at that point so how it feels like first thing is that i no longer remember myself so it's like i don't remember who i am i don't remember who human beings i'm not sure what type of life i am there is no point of reference I don't understand what money is. I don't re like, I remember that, and it is kind of a red line that of my experiences in almost every session is that what is, what is it to be fat? So I'm like, I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure what really am I, t I'm trying to do with fatness. And, but I know that this is something that's part of my life. I don't really understand the concept of languages at that point. There are certain words that my brain is telling me, but they don't really make sense because I am the type of entity that does not really communicate through words. When I'm there, it's like, but it's all love. 
and death does not really make sense there. But I feel that we're all part of some energy source that does not really care about language, looks, um, material, material part of our existence. It's just us. It's just pure vibration, pure love. But um, definitely what these experiences shows to people who are broken in some way is that irrespective of their parts that are kind of imperfect, they're worthy, whole, and it's not something that you will understand through their some you know paragraph that you will write and explain to yourself you will experience yourself differently you will experience yourself as um, something bigger than just a body and this is why dissociation is so powerful because you feel like there is more to life than just physicality of it so this is kind of the essential part of the experience and i can tell way more about it and I think maybe I'll record a part two of this video that I'll go deeper and more nuanced um, about the experience but I think the last thing that I want to say regarding ketamine is that there is definitely an after effect that is just purely chemical I'm just happier my energy level is still a little bit like fluctuating and I'm working on it with uh, different medical professionals to um, kind of address that point but the mood part their hopelessness part it is gone you feel more like yourself and you feel more brave i feel more brave i don't know how you would feel um if you would if you were to take ketamine but i feel more brave i feel more like myself i feel like oh i know this girl um and it's one of the most liberating and amazing experiences that I've ever had in my life and I wish more people knew about the effects and antidepressant effect of ketamine how much it can change your life how much it can improve what you do and how you feel about yourself it's the most it's one of the most significant event in my life I would say like you know I got married I moved to United States um, I lost my father and like having ketamine session is like along those big changes in my life it's so transformative I am forever in love with how much this um, drug has done for me and how much psychedelics changed of who I am or reintroduced me to who I am brought some of the joy back to my life it's absolutely insane how great this experience was for me um, there's definitely some side effects that um, ketamine has like I have horrible nausea um, this is not a particularly sensually pleasant experience physically so this is why it is good because it does not really um, affect your dopamine receptors it does not really uh, create this feeling of like just pure pleasure in your body it's quite uncomfortable at times um, but it is so worth it for its psychological effect for its mental effect for its um expanding your consciousness effect and the good thing is that it stays with you for some time even after the treatment it's not like you need to have it every day in order to feel the effect well in short it has been an absolute life-changing experience and if you have a chance and you feel that you um, might benefit from um, such type of um, experience i highly recommend you check out your local offerings of ketamine and hopefully you find your peace and happiness with yourself see you guys thank you so much for watching bye